Good morning. Welcome to Build Day 29. Kay and I are in the truck, obviously. We just got done parking it. And it's 10.17, a quarter after 10 in the morning. I have a feeling today is going to be a very interesting day weather-wise. Right now, it is 46 degrees out. We're supposed to have a high of 68. And it's overcast. I checked the weather before we came out. And it sounds interesting. They're forecasting rain for today, starting around noon and running for a couple hours. <sighs> interesting. <laughs> So it's going to play havoc a little bit with what I had planned. For right now, I'm going to get the dog out of the truck. Get me out of the truck. Ugh, if I can get the door open and get my body moving. I'm stiff this morning. Come on, Kay. Let's get in the house. Go on. Get in the house. Uh, we didn't do too bad yesterday, I guess. Uh, we got... The front end wired up. We got the entrance hall wired up. We got the signs wired up. And give me a little second, a little bit here. I am going, there we go, gate shut. And I've got a Kaylee print down there with her Buddha. Is that your Buddha? Ah, uh, but no, we got the front end, the entrance done. We got in here, I got the first air compressor and its storage tank into place and we got the airlines ran in to the display so I can work on pneumatics. Uh, we also got the first five volt item wired up and lit and we started wiring this. I ended up getting the light box installed. I still need to set the coloring on it. We got Gargi's eyes lit and a uh, Flood in to highlight him, and that's oh, and then we drop the power line down there to do the lights in there, and this uh, skull and the coffin, and I got power line dropped in here to do the general lighting in here. That's as far as we got yesterday. Uh, with them forecasting rain for today, I think what we're going to do is we are gonna work on that display, part of the display right there. We'll get that finished, everything in its final place. And then move over there and probably do lighting and stuff over there. Until such time as it rains. If it starts raining, I'm gonna abandon that and we're gonna move in here and I've gotta get lighting and stuff in here. And this is under cover, so I'll stay dry. Ah, uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, if we get this done and it is still raining, I will bypass this little area because it needs to be wi wired up too and we will move over to stuff undercover. Specifically the chain hall, the photo hall, and the werewolf display or Sue Ann's tube hallway. And we'll just start wiring lights and stuff up in there because that's all undercover and I will be getting somewhere. And then when it stops raining, I can get back over here to graveyard and get graveyard finished. <laughs> so there is a plan of attack, so I'll be getting something done today. Uh, with as chilly as it is, come on, Kay, get Buddha. Uh, there is a plan of attack. Uh, personally, I'd rather stick with the graveyard and get it totally done, get the straw in, and I can turn it over to Sue to do whatever she wants to do. But if it's raining, I don't feel like playing out in the rain. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll bail and head for cover. Uh, past that, we need breakfast of the day. And we're going back to one we've already had. Oatmeal, a hot breakfast. Nice big bowl of oatmeal, which is what I had for lunch yesterday. And it was quite good, it hit the spot. Got rid of my craving for it at that time. But now with the chili out here, good bowl of oatmeal sounds good. 
But I've got dog here at my feet once in the house. I'm going to let her in. I've got to get the gate to the backyard open. And i got to get my uh, whatever stuff I have in the shop I need out here, out here. And we're going to get going. It's time, folks. Time to play with the dad. Okay, going on 3 o'clock. Just getting done with lunch. We walked Kaylee. And I think I'll give you a little bit of what I've done so far. This display is totally lit. I need to go through and uh, aim lights tonight. The uh, dragon light box there needs uh, to have its coloring and stuff set yet. I got over here, ran the wire across, got that light box going, and I need to get it set for coloring tonight. And as you can hear, try it again here. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. The ghosts are working. And I did run into a problem with that. Uh, and it's with the control board, not the air. Uh, one of the switches is acting wonky on it. Uh, so one of the ghosts will not flutter. And it's with the board itself. It's something that could probably be fixed. But I'm going to have to call tech support in the off season and find out. But that's pretty much as far as we've gotten today so far. Now my next chore, air-wise, is that guy. I need to get him wired up for air and get him working. And then once we get done with that, I can start screwing around with all the lighting that needs to be done in here. And then we can move on to the mausoleum and mess with that. So that's where we're at now. Alright, weather forecast as usual was totally wrong. They said, when I checked this morning, we were supposed to have rain around noon, my time. In a sense, I guess we did. We had like three minutes worth of sprinkles and then it stopped. And then the wind came up and we ended up with a windstorm and we had gusts up to 65 miles per hour. Fun. Uh, the haunt did do fairly well. We did take some damage in the mausoleum and it was right where I expected. Right here. It blew loose and that's right where the fogger sit. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of a repair on that. No biggie. Uh, it's kind of designed to do that anyway. Uh, surprisingly enough, there's a wife telling me dinner's ready. How many sandwiches you have? Egg salad. Two. Two. Egg salad? Two. On toast? Uh, I can put yours in the toaster, yeah. Yeah, uh, with a slice of cheese. Okay. Okay, dinner order, sorry about that. But this one here is the air blaster, and it's set up the same way as the fogger. The fogger took the damage. The uh, air blaster didn't, and the wind was coming from that side. Uh, barring that, I showed you this early, we got that done. Show you this here. Now the board that's controlling the sign also controls the angel. It tri actually trips the angel first and then the sign fires off. I don't have the angel turned on. But past that, we've got all the lighting and everything in. Once it gets dark enough, I'll come in and we'll. Uh, get all the lights aimed what have you and I'll give you a nighttime look tonight uh, the last thing I have to do uh, is I gotta get the straw in and that will hide all the wires and all the platforms for the lights and all that I need to do both that one and this one so uh, but uh, I'm not hello you opened again <laughs> I must have tripped him but uh, it's still slightly breezy out here. Uh, we might be in what's called the eye of the storm. <laughs> so it may pick up again. So I'm going to hold off on doing straw today. I will come in tomorrow. That's a 10 to 20 minute project, if that, uh, to get everything uh I'll get everything, you know, with, uh, covered with the straw and everything. I can do that tomorrow. 
Uh, but as you just heard, Suanne was taking my dinner order. So I gotta get in the house and get dinner. When I get back out here after dinner, we are going over here and start hanging the lights as well as repairing that uh, in the mausoleum. Uh, I don't know how far we're going. I might just get the lights hung. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get them wired or not. I doubt it. It takes a couple hours to wire up the mausoleum usually. But whatever doesn't get done today, we'll get done tomorrow. You know, so. Anyway, dinner time. Okay, it's after dinner. Uh, it's about 20 after 7. Just getting out here and aiming lights. And I found a goof. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix in the morning. I'm not doing it tonight. Around here. Now, I did a green flood on the angel to kind of highlight it. But when he turns on, he has a bunch of lights that shoot up at him uh, built into the prop. So... I'm not gonna, and they're blue, so I'm not sure if they're gonna cast uh, any problems or not. But the cemetery sign, the ghastly rest cemetery sign, I forgot to put lights on it. So I'm gonna have to add uh, two lights on the fence tomorrow, and uh, we'll get that lit up. That'll be a quick, easy one to do. But everything else is, for the most part, lit up. And I got my base in that will hold the uh, projector. Still need to get the stick in yet. Uh, over here, we got the steer's head lit up. And the other coffin, uh, we've got the uh, obelisk and the dog. And then there's another one down there, another tombstone. And I also went through, this is showing up as white on the video, but it's actually a yellow white. And I dimmed it down a little bit. I also dimmed down the blue dragon and set it to uh, light purple. Same as that one. Those two look good in purple. Uh, but anyway, I dimmed, the, I dimmed, and dimmed them down a bit so they're not as uh, bright. Now, so far, other than aiming the lights and discovering my fuba, uh, everything's done out here. That and the straw. But I'll get in tomorrow morning. We'll get the two lights on on the uh, the two lights installed for the uh, sign there, and then uh, <sighs> we'll get the straw in, and then I'll be done over here, and Sue Ann can kind of take over. But our next project which I'm going to get started on tonight I am not going to get finished tonight it's up there on the rafters I gotta get the lights installed and in order to install the lights I need to cut a uh, some blocks of uh, two by two to fit on the uh, brace there and there's eight of them that go in here plus each end also gets one in the middle to, sh uh, to hang lights on to shine down on things like those there. On the other end, it's the uh, ceramic gargoyles down there. They'll get uh, some lights too. But uh, we're going to get started on that next. So there's your nighttime look for tonight. Okay, starting off with Kaylee and her baby, a unicorn. Shot the nighttime footage out of the graveyard. Had to come out and take a look at it. She kind of teased me a little bit about forgetting the graveyard sign. Okay. <laughs> Went and got my light hooked up over in the mausoleum. So I could start doing the mausoleum. And I'm starting to shiver. I'm like, okay, I'm going to check the temperature. It's down to 43 degrees. No wonder I'm freaking uh, shivering. And it's still breezy out here. And it's worse, worse when you're out in the wind. So I decided to say, screw it. I'm calling it quits early. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. It's about in between 7.30 and 8 somewhere. So I'm calling it quits early. End of the day wrap up. And of course, she's doing her thing again. At the door. You know, we park the truck. Come up on the front porch. I go in the house to drop the mail off. Because I brought the mail in when I parked the truck. 
and Kaylee wants to go in. Then she stops, looks at me, and I start going out back out here to do the wrap up. He's like, Dad, I want to come, I want to come. We get out here. She snoops around a little bit. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> he big mooch. And then walks right back in the house. And it's like, screw that. I'm not turning off the camera to let you in. Do I have to get I normally when we first started the uh, setup series, if she wanted in, I just reached back, opened up the screen door, and she went in. But with as cold as it is, the door's shut, too, and I'd have to get up to open up the damn door. And it's like, no, <laughs> you can wait till I'm done filming. Uh, we spent pretty much all day over in the graveyard. Got both the pneumatics done. Uh, the cemetery sign went real quick. It was a quick, easy one. Uh, the, uh, my grandparents' tombstone, the one with the sheet ghosts on it, has four different solenoids, in other words, switches on it to get all the ghost to uh, fire. And plumbing that thing, every year I have to deal with one aspect of it or another leaking. And it's usually where the uh, rubber uh, the rubber air hoses attach into it. And I always end up having to mess with it. It took me a couple hours to get that one up and running. But it's up and running. Minus one, one uh, switch. And that's on the control board, and it's one of my older control boards, so I'm not going to worry about it. You know, one ghost not fluttering and doing its thing isn't going to hurt nothing. And then we went through and got the lights, all the lights in, except for the gray, uh, the uh, cemetery sign, which is an easy fix. So I can do that tomorrow. Uh... And, but we're ready to get into Mausoleum. And Mausoleum will probably take all day. God, what is there? There's 14, 15, 16, 18 spots and 8 floods to get installed and wired. Just for that Mausoleum. Uh, each urn box gets an LED light pointed at it to highlight the urns on the inside. And there's 14 of those plus another four LEDs spots to highlight the items on either end. On one end, it's the uh, skeletal flamingos. If I don't put the spots in, they can't be seen because it's too shadowy. And the other end is the uh, ceramic gargoyles. So I got four there. Then I have eight haunted treasure lights floods to put in. And then I get to have fun trying to wire them all up. And then I have the air blaster to do. Gotta get that uh, air hose drug out here for that and it's compressor out and get make get it all tested, making sure it's gonna work. Uh, I gotta get its brain board in. And that's another one that should be easy but can be complicated too. And I'm gonna have to run a power wire for it. And then I got that little section just after the mausoleum. It needs one floodlight and the uh, Light box, dragon light box over there needs to be wired up. Now will be quick and easy. Then we'll be into chain, which will be quick and easy too. <laughs> I don't know if we'll make it to chain tomorrow, but we're getting closer to it. I'll just be glad to be done with the graveyard. You know, like I said, when we started the graveyard, it's usually a two day project to get it all fully let up. And it's just a matter of all the lights and the pneumatics and stuff in it. Most of the displays have one pneumatic in it, you know, and that's not too bad. The graveyard has three. Clown has two. You know, uh, pirate has one. Spider has two, come to think of it. And then uh, Gypsy has one. So, and that one's, the Gypsy one's a bitch because of where the pneumatic is located at. I have to crawl underneath that damn table next to the wall and there's not much room. So I'm working on it in weird angles. <laughs> and it's just like, ugh. You know, I should wire up the uh, pneumatic before I put that together, but in order, but in the process of putting it together, I'd rip out all the wiring. So, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But anyway, uh, like I was saying, I've got to get straw in and the uh, cemetery sign lit up. And then we'll be in the mausoleum tomorrow. And that's on the docket. Past that, it's getting too damn cold out here. 
Stay spooky. Stay talk.